Hey guys, Damien here again from Alarm System Store, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Alarm.com VDB755P. And this is Alarm.com's newest doorbell camera. And it's pretty unique for a doorbell camera because it actually connects to your internet um, using an Ethernet cable. So all of the other doorbell cameras for Alarm.com use Wi-Fi. Uh, this one is the only one so far that has an Ethernet connection and allowing you to actually hardwire the unit. So, uh, another couple neat features about this one is uh, it actually allows you to connect it to an SVR. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with those, basically it's a stream video recorder. It allows you to constantly record um, footage from any cameras connected to it. And none of the existing Alarm.com doorbells so far have allowed you to connect them to an SVR. Even though Wi-Fi cameras do work um, with SVRs, uh, the doorbell cameras did not. This is actually the first one that allows you to connect it directly to the SVR using that Ethernet cable, and you can record footage through it 24-7 if you desire. Um, it can be quite difficult getting an Ethernet cable fed into where you need a doorbell if you don't have one uh, built in already. Um, however, depending on how uh, your doorbell and the wires were run originally, you may have enough room to feed one in. Um, generally though, you'll probably have to remove some drywall to be able to access that location. So it's generally best if you, you know, plan on this, if you're building a new home, or if you have your uh, walls open for any reason, uh, actually getting that SNI cape run there. And then if you do plan on connecting it to an SVR, make sure that you route the cable so that it can reach that SVR without too much trouble. Good job. But basically today, we're just going to be opening this up. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you basically how it would mount up, where the Ethernet connector is inside of it. And that's going to do it for today. So I'm going to get this open and I'll be right back. Hey, right, so this is everything you get with the doorbell camera. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You get a little document that has QR code that will take you to the instruction manual for installation and enrollment. You get a little box of a couple screws. This will be how you mount it to the outside where your doorbell is going to be placed and here's the unit itself it's actually pretty straightforward um, there's only two pieces to it uh, you have the main camera portion and then you have the back plate this is what's going to attach to your door frame on the outside so inside here you can see there's just two screws that you'll use to mount the back plate and then a couple wired connections that allows you to connect the existing doorbell cameras from like a regular button if you want to use your existing doorbell chime for that. Um, you can, however, connect this to the, the wireless gateway and chime that they have. Um, I believe that's the uh, W115C. I'll link it down below either way, but um, you can use that with these. So if you just want to use a wireless chime that you just plug into the wall, make it easy, you could do so. That's also the only way to get a chime with this if you don't have existing doorbell wires connected to with a I was chiming in your house. Connecting to an existing chime in your house. On the camera though, it's pretty straightforward. There's not much to this. Um, basically, once you have the plate mounted, um, you'll just slide this in here. There's a screw on the bottom and that is how it stays in place. As for the ethernet connector though, it basically connects directly into the back of this. So um, you really don't need that much Ethernet cable sticking out of your door frame. It basically just has to connect directly to that. So really just an inch or two of Ethernet cable sticking out is going to be more than enough to mount this. You basically just plug it right in, mount that up, and then um, if you're not using the uh, existing wiring, like I said, you will need a power over Ethernet connection, uh, meaning the power for this is actually going to come through the Ethernet cable. So you can do so from uh, like the SDRs that I was talking about, or you may need a PoE switch if you're going to install this kind of standalone. Um, a PoE switch, it goes for pretty cheap, or you can get a PoE router, which allows the router to actually power any devices that are connected to it. So, but that is the main power source for this camera. Um, otherwise, uh, just to go over some features, uh, this basically has all of the neat features that other Alarm.com cameras have. Um, it uses video analytics so we can determine, you know, the difference between humans, animals, cars, whatever the case might be. Um, so you won't get notifications unless you specifically set it and pick up, you know, whatever it is you wanted to see. 
So if you only want it to trigger when a human walks by or whatever the case is, that is the only thing it will actually capture motion for. Um, this does have two-way audio, just like all the others, so you are able to speak through your app. You can speak out of the camera, and whoever's on the other side can speak to you through it. Now, this camera features a 1440 by 1440 resolution, and the reason it's um, 1440 by 1440 is that the field of view is actually a square, whereas normally um, Alarm.com doorbell cameras kind of use more of a rectangular size. Um, they kind of shorten the tops and bottoms of what it can see to kind of extend the you know left and right viewing area. Um, however, this one uses 150 degree by 150 degree viewing angle. You will want to take that into account when you're mounting this. Um, you do kind of want to mount it on a flat surface. Um, to my knowledge, this doorbell camera doesn't actually have um, like angled plates like some of the others. Uh, the other Alarm.com cameras have like a, a little plate you can put behind the back plate and that changes the angle slightly. I think it's like getting or for like 10 to 30 degrees. So you can kind of angle it as needed with those others. However, this one, I believe, just has to mount basically flat. So you may not want to actually do it on the door frame of your door. You might want to move just to the side of that and kind of go into the siding so that it sits perfectly flush against the wall. Unless you need a way to kind of angle the mount, um, you could, you know, potentially come up with any sort of solution. Just like a little piece of wood that's angled at the way that you need it, so on and so forth. Just make sure that you can still get that Ethernet connection to the camera and you'll be good to go. But that's really it for this camera. There's not a whole lot to it. Like I said, it's just these two pieces. You mount this, stick this in it, screw it in, and then you're good to go. The enrollment and all the you know features that you'll find for the camera are going to be done through the Alarm.com app or the Alarm.com website. They do have a uh, basically a step-by-step -step guide whenever you choose this as the device that you're going to be enrolling. So as long as it's connected to your internet and it's getting power, it should be pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, we don't have to go through the whole Wi-Fi connection thing that you do with, you know, the other doorbell cameras, so on and so forth. So it should be even quicker than most. Just keep in mind if you are planning on getting one of these. Yeah, just keep in mind if you are planning on getting one of these, um, the hardest part is going to get that Ethernet cable run to your door. So make sure you have a good plan for that prior to purchasing the unit. You don't want to end up with this, get it out of the box and get ready to install it and then find out you're going to have trouble getting an Ethernet cable run because that's just going to delay everything. So make sure you make a proper plan uh, to get it wired properly. And as long as you do, you should be good to go. Uh, this is probably one of the easiest forum.com doorbells to work with, provided you have that Ethernet cable available. So, but that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed If there are any other questions, Regarding this doorbell, you can find a link below to it on our site, which will give you all the information you need, along with a, a menu you can pull up and download if need be. And uh, if you want to check out any old other Alarm.com products that we carry, uh, I'll leave a link below. Just head to our website. We have a slew of Alarm.com cameras you can choose from, multiple SVR options you can pick from, um, and we do have a PoE switch if you are in need of one of those as well for something like this. So. So head on over to Alarm System Store, check it out. And if you got any comments or questions, just leave them down below and we will get them answered. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next one.